Hey folks, Jonathan here. Working on my 58 Chevrolet Biscayne. Uh, this thing's got a 350 in it, later model 350, but I put a two-speed power glide back in it. When I got it, it had a 200 metric and it slipped between the gears pretty bad. And I've been having some issues with this. When I park it, it likes to leak pretty bad. But I'm gonna do the front seal. Uh, went to the local auto parts store. Had that in stock, no problem. Uh, picked it up. Today, Mist and rain a little bit, but I decided to pick the 58 Chevrolet up on my wheel lift and uh, one of my wreckers and get up under it and get started on it. I was going to try to get it changed as quick as I could, you know, just maybe a two or three hour job. And uh, got to looking, and luckily, don't look like I'm going to have to put a front seal in it. So uh, I'll show you what, what I found. Okay, here's the old, uh, the pan off of it and the old filter. You can see there was some, some gunk in there, but a lot of the problem is, of course, you can see this gasket was way over tightened. And uh, right here is the front of the pan, I believe. Uh, and it was just uh, pouring out from the pan. Yeah, but it was pouring in the front, so where that sat, you know, it, it really looked like it was the front seal. But here's what I found in it I don't like. Permatex or gasket sealer or silicone, whatever you want to call it. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, it has its uses, but uh, definitely not. Uh, we got company here, but uh, Ninja the one-eyed cat again. But it has its uses, but definitely not in this application. I mean, I I would never have used it on there. And uh, you know, I thought I was gonna come out real lucky just changing this out which you know that, that is I don't have to pull the transmission now but when I pulled this well pulled the pan off of course but uh, when I called the auto parts store to get the parts I needed which I'll show you okay when I called the auto parts store to get the parts I needed nobody had this filter and gasket in stock and you would think they had a front seal you'd think they would have had a gasket and and uh, filter but I called everyone around, AutoZone, Napa, CarQuest, uh, Advance Auto, nobody had it. Well, luckily, years back, I had a friend that owned a record service that uh, actually owned an auto parts store and called him up. His son his son actually runs it now. He's the, the father has passed away. but And it took him a little while, but, you know, about 15 minutes later, they, they called and said that they, uh, they had it and it was actually in the back room when i got there to pick it up uh john is the fellow that owned the auto parts store but one of his workers was out there and he would handed it to me and told me that uh it had been on the shelf for 25 years and he had orders not to order another one and if he did he he'd be in trouble so you know that's uh that's the way it is nowadays with old parts but you know what really got me on this this, this kit was eight dollars and you can see the quality uh, you know, it's got a brass screen or a copper spring. I think it's brass, but I'm not sure what they what they make them out of. But uh, you know, nice steel. It's you know, I don't think you can they make it. If they did make it and sold it for eight bucks, it wouldn't be this quality anyway. But uh, it's an old one, and you know, I, I've got the pan off, so I didn't find a lot of a lot of metal shavings or anything like that in it. I'm gonna go ahead and get this changed out. But you know, some days you do get lucky, and I guess I got lucky twice. First with not being a front seal and second with uh, him having this kit in stock. But uh, I'll get this on and hopefully we'll take care of our leak problem. Bye.